Now I'd like to show you a little bit about the dynamic grid, which allows you to align and space your shapes as you draw, so you don't have to come back and clean them up later. So let's start with a basic flowchart like we often do. Double click on that and up comes a new drawing. And let's go over to the View tab and modify a few things. First thing is we don't really need the ruler because we don't care how far things are apart. And let's turn off the, the page grid for now because we're going to use the dynamic grid. And it's easier to see it if we don't have all those lines in the background. Now over in the visual aids group you can see that there's a dynamic grid checkbox and you might want to check that that's turned on. I believe that for flowcharts and a few of the other templates it is turned on by default. So let's just start by dragging out a process shape and I'll zoom in just a little bit so we get a better view. And you'll see that as I drag another shape, I get a, I'll get a centering line, this orange line that says, yes, these shapes are lined up. And as I get close, you'll see there's this little uh, double arrowhead line below that says, oh, you've, you, you've equally spaced it. Now, when there's only two shapes on the page, there's, there's no concern for equal spacing because any spacing is just fine. So this is a standard built-in spacing that is set for this template. And it'll make a lot more sense when we drag another shape over. So we'll come over here and we can see there we've got their vertical alignment. And as I come closer, you'll see now you can see the, uh, the double-headed arrows in two positions between both gaps. Now th the notion of standard spacing starts to make a lot more sense. You can keep doing this. And you can see that now three of those show up. So that's pretty cool. You'll notice that if you used auto connect arrows to insert a shape, which you normally would do in a flowchart, and what I was doing before is kind of an academic exercise, that Visio inserts a new shape, aligns it with the, the shape from which you clicked, and it spaces it exactly the same as this this auto spacing, uh, this standard spacing that Visio started with over here. Now, if you let's make another co copy here. If you have, if you start with different spacing like this, Visio can kind of detect that you have a different standard spacing. You can see what ha what I did there is I, I made the first two shapes a different spacing apart from each other. And as I drag subsequent shapes, it says, oh, in this local area, which it helps if we hold that there, in this local area, he, he's been spacing shapes a little bit further apart, so we won't use the, the standard spacing that we used above. We'll look sort of locally to see if there's a pattern, and, and if it is, we'll suggest to the user that they keep using this pattern. Unfortunately, Auto Connect doesn't pick up on that, and if I click on Auto Connect, it uses the standard spacing again. You can see that this gap is less than this gap. So let's zoom out a little bit delete these shapes and continue on with what we were talking about. Now, again, there's auto spacing in the Y direction too, so I'll just control drag. What I'm doing here is I'm control dragging to create these duplicates in case you're wondering what I'm doing. And that's just easier to do. So again, it's Visio suggested as the standard spacing, which is exactly the same as if I use auto connect. You can see here. And once I create more than two shapes, the spacing arrows show up and make a lot more sense. There they are. So let's make a few more of those. Let's zoom out so you can see them all. There you go. There's four of them right now. So it's really easy to keep things lined up as you draw, whereas in the past you would, you would lay things out roughly, then you would select a bunch of shapes and say, space them equally for me, align them for me, etc., etc. Now you can work as you, now you can align and space as you draw, just looking for those little orange highlights. Now, you can align in two directions as well. You can see here, we've got vertical and horizontal alignment happening as I bring the shape into the page, which is really cool. <laughs> And if you have a shape that is, let's say, different size. Now these are all, all these shapes have been the same size up till now. So now I'm going to create a bigger shape. And you can see what happens is we can actually align to the top or the middle or the bottom of the shape. And that works in the horizontal direction as well. You can see here we've, we've got a left, 
middle and right spacing. So that's the dynamic grid. Remember the view tab allows you to turn it on and off if it's getting in the way of some of the drawing you're doing or if it doesn't happen to be on you can go up there and turn it on and easily lay out your drawings. and Keep them neat and orderly as you work.